In this video, we're going to learn how to change the value of the variable. So we don't need to declare it again because the computer already knows there is a variable called choice1 and that's a whole number. We want to use the command assign to change the value of it. So we're going to drag assign over here and we're going to select which variable we want to change the value of. Then we select what do we want to change the value to. Now I want to actually take some input from the user and put that in the variable. So I'm just going to say zero for now. Now we need to actually get some input from the user. And since this is going to be a method that pulls data and sends it back to the program, that's a function. Functions return data to the program. So we're going to look down here and we're going to see the prompt user functions. One is get boolean from user. That's if we're using a boolean type variable. One is get string from user. That's if we're using a text string type variable. One is get double from user, that's if we're using a double type variable. And one is get integer from user, and that's if we're using a whole number type variable. So we want to grab get integer from user because we're using a whole number type variable. So I want the data that we get from the user to go into the variable choice1 and be stored there. So I've got my assigned choice1 to a value of 0. We're going to grab get integer from user and put it over 0. Now it's got a pop-up box. This is because we want to ask the user a question, because otherwise the user won't know what data we're looking for. So I'm going to go to custom text string, and I'm going to say, do you want to, one, talk about your day, or two, go to sleep? Hit OK. So when we run this program, it's going to create a new variable called choice1 and give it an initial value of 0. Then it's going to change the value of choice1, and it's going to put the value, whatever value the user gives us, into there. So when we run it, it says, do you want to talk about your day 1 or go to sleep 2? I'm going to say 2. And nothing happens, but at the end of the program, the variable choice1 holds the number 2 that the user put inside there. 